Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Denicio Torres. This is my second chance with the new vision. If this is your first time on my channel, guys, I hope you like the content. I hope you subscribe. I hope you share. I am blind. I lost my vision when I was 16 due to a gunshot. If you want to know more about that, you can purchase my book, My Second Chance with the New Vision on Amazon, or the link is going to be down in the description box below. Don't forget, as long as you are breathing, you have a second chance to change your life if you don't like where you're at right now at this point in your life. And like y'all see in the title, many of you guys probably already heard this or seen this. Um, the news is all over. Um, the news about the man that killed five people or just well, that he murdered the people just because he got complaints or the neighbor asked him to stop firing his gun. This happened in San Jacinto County in Texas. And I heard um, in the Mexican news where the dad um, of the victim, the, the victim, the youngest victim was eight years old, man. But I'm going to get to that. Um, and the other ones were 18, 21, um, 25, and 31, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and apparently... It was around 11.30 at night on Friday, and the man, um, a 38 male named Francisco Orpesa, if I'm not mistaken, was shooting his gun in the air. Uh, the neighbor um, came out, and he told him, can you stop shooting? Apparently, what the man, the neighbor, the victim, um, his, the one that got his uh, family murdered by the man that was shooting, um, he said that on the Mexican news that he had, or his um, neighbor usually be shooting. However, he was he never shot at that spot that he shot on Friday. I think he was too close to his house. So he came out and told him that his kid was sleeping and could he go shoot or somewhere else or can he stop? The shooter got mad and I guess probably got in a back and forth. Because the sh neighbor, the shooter basically said that you're not going to tell me where I can shoot. This is my house, blah, blah, blah. Um, when the neighbor saw that he was coming towards him when he was going into his house, the victim's house, um, while the victims got murdered, uh, apparently he was going after the, the, the guy, the male. Um, but as soon as he walked inside the door, he killed his wife and was looking for him in, in some of the rooms and ended up killing other people that was in there. Um, they didn't hit, kill him. So five people were murdered. Um, I think two moms or two ladies, if I'm not mistaken, uh, protected their kids. Um, their bodies was on top of their two other kids there. At first, they were saying that it was 10 people inside that residence. However, uh, also in the Mexican news, they said that there was 12 people instead of five. So imagine if he would have killed all 12. The shooter, oh, Francisco, uh, that's the suspect's name. Um, and is a rural place. Uh, they heard interviews. Well, I saw some interviews of neighbors also saying that there's a lot of shooting um, that happens there. A lot of cops be going around there. Not like to uh shooting i mean probably just like in their properties because of rule so so there's a lot of people who call the cops um what else uh also the 38 suspect has been deported two times if i'm not mistaken was he or should he had that assault rifle or that rifle or that gun he had no because um i don't know how it works in texas but like I said, I stay in Georgia. In Georgia, you cannot purchase a, a gun if you're not a resident or a citizen. And he being a documented, of course, I don't think he was a citizen or a resident. But I don't know um, the reason why he did it. Honestly, I don't know. That's a, that's a crazy thing because apparently the police had when or had been in the address a couple of times prior to Friday night. Was it the times that he got deported or arrested for that? Uh, they haven't said it. Or it had to do with other situations. But the police had been called to that address already. Um, don't know if, like I said, if it was for firing they, his weapon. 
out to the air or nothing like that. So uh, we got to wait for that information. And the guy is still on the run. Uh, I think there's like a 55000 reward for him if you know where he's at. They've been looking for him. The closest they've been was they found his cell phone uh, pin. They went, I think it was in the forest. His clothes was there. The dog lost the scent of him. So many people think that he's still around. Um, other people I've seen in comments saying that he's probably left to Mexico. Honestly, I can't even say. Because last time I remember I said that that fugitive that was gone like for two weeks or three weeks that escaped in Texas, they found him around the neighborhood. So he probably could be there. He probably um could be gone. He probably made a phone call or somebody told him to throw his phone away and stuff because apparently he was intoxicated. So he was not too much intoxicated to do all that unless somebody helped him out. Hopefully not because, like I said, man, the youngest victim was eight years old. And that's crazy, man. And it makes it a lot worse. I'm not saying that, that this situation is not bad because at the end of the day it can be any of us like i always say with mass shootings like this especially like nowadays uh everything is so common man like people just see one like i said every other day or every day now it's 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 so common now to be happening but you know you can do the same thing you can go out there a neighbor might be having music loud or something like that and I don't know. I don't know why people just is the first thing they think now is shoot somebody. That's the first thing that happens. And probably 90% of the cases now people instead of fighting or stop arguing or, you know, it's, it, 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 that's the first thing they go to. The guns. I don't know, man. And it's sad, man. It's sad when you hear the dad's, um, the dad that his wife and kid got murdered that was in the house. Um... Regardless, man, I think I think uh, I'm lost for words for that because, you know, he just went probably what a normal dad would do if there's too much noise, your neighbors are making too much noise, especially at that time, you know, hey, can you keep it down? Can you stop shooting or all this and that? And, you know, his neighbor getting mad at that. Like I said, um, they haven't said that had they had problems before or if it was just a once, you know, one time thing. The guy was too intoxicated. Um, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. If they had beef before or if they had situations, this was uncalled for regardless, man. Like I said, it's five victims, innocent victims to do that really, if you can say, that really didn't have nothing to do with it. Regardless if the two guys got into an argument the other people that um, he shot execution style, that's what they were calling it also, really didn't have nothing to, to do with it. Um, and it's crazy, like I said, it's crazy how people think nowadays, man. And um, like I said, making it at eight years old, uh, it just makes it a lot worse, man. A, a lot worse. I know. Uh, just like everybody, I'm pretty sure that we want the worst for this guy just because of the eight years old especially of the other victims, but once a child, like I always say, man, you should never touch a child for no reason, um, especially in cases like this. Uh, third party, the third party never, 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 you should go against a third party that has nothing to do with your situations with other people. But I don't know, guys, if you heard this before, man, or is this your first time seeing this? Like I said, this is recent, is going all over the news on YouTube about this 38 um, and San Jacinto, Texas, that did this for apparently no reasons, man. Like, um, and I know there's many people who are like, oh, that's why the, these immigrants should stay in their country, blah, blah, blah. Um, at the end of the day, man, to be honest with you, this is how the United States is. He ain't the only one and um, that Mexicans or whatever that's doing it, it's everybody. Um, you know, it's, a, it's, 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 it's going common now in every race. In some races, higher percentage than others, but at the end of the day, it's still touching all the races here in the um, United States. So, like I always say when I do videos like this, man, what's the, how can we fix this problem? Honestly, I don't know. At first, I thought I knew, but, you know, taking these guns out of the way, um, getting people to legally buy them, but at the end of the day, this guy, he didn't have it legally. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know how Texas laws work, but 
I'm pretty sure he didn't have it legally under his name. So, I, like I always say, it's probably community or um, it's everybody, man. Law enforcement community, everybody, man, has to get in, in line with this stuff because it's not good. Everything that's going on with these gunsmen are not good, man. So I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, purchase my book, all that good stuff like I already know. I'm out. Peace.